thank you for everything that you've brought to NASCAR, Tony Stewart and Brian Scott. I will miss both of you a lot. So thanks for the memories from both of you. Though I've only watched NASCAR for four seasons, but whatever. Now to the race. Ten laps here at Seattle Speedway for round seven of the NASCAR Come On Cup Series here at Seattle Speedway. Nintendo 500. Let's take a look at a few storylines. Kyle Larson. He's returning to Jim Ganassi Racing. After Michael Lynette left the team, Casey Kane moves back to Hendrick as Brian Vickers got punted out of the team. And Michael Nett now moves to H. Scott Motorsports due to his dismal performance at Chip Ganassi Racing. And he was one of four drivers that failed to qualify, along with Michael McDowell, Matt Benedetto, and Jeffrey Earnhardt. De Benedetto continuing his miserable season. This is going to get exciting right here as we get ready for the start. Moments after a champion was crowned in the Spring Cup Series, we are ready to go racing. Carl Lewis got crashed out, but is now in the pole. Here we go. Edwards will lead lap one with Jack Lawn running in second. We're on board with Lawton right now. He's on the back of Carl Edwards. Is he going to have a run? No, not quite. He's trying to eke out an advantage. And he's doing that right now. And Harvick goes to the inside. Jack Lawn, we're on board with Kevin Harvick now as we begin the third lap. Harvick to the inside of Carl Edwards and gets the pass done. Edwards right on him, though. This is getting good, and Kyle Larson's gaining positions as well, just thought I'd tell you that. And his teammate, Jay McMurray, going around the outside, Dale Earnhardt Jr., as the Lears are catching back markers. Brian Scott is also going on a rampage right now. He had a good finish in his last race, and is battling his teammate, Eric Hamrill, for position. Harvick is still leading. Oh, William Law gets turned by Greg Biffle, and Brax Slusky gets in there too. Oh, Casey Kane, Trevor Bain, and more. Menard's in it as well. This dismal season's continuing. Oh, man. Jeff Byrne gets in there in the last second, too. Ty Dillon's just had enough of them. And once again, just as the NASCAR Spring Cup Series race had in Homestead, a car got flung right up into the air. William Loss kind of started that. He got turned by Greg Biffle, that guy right there. And Brad Koslowski was just an innocent victim, as was Kurt Busch, Trevor Bain, Casey Kane, not a great way to return to Hendrick. And Paul Menard is having the worst luck ever at the moment. And Jeb Burton got dumped by Ty Dillon. There may be further penalties ensued, but we don't know. And Kurt Busch, same corner, he crashed in qualifying. That's why he started at the back. But we're ready to restart on lap 8 of 10. Green flags back in the air, and Kevin Harvick leads. Edwards trying to jump at the second. On board with Harvick's back bumper again. Lawn is chasing him. But is he going to get to him? I'm not too sure. We have two to go. Oh, Harvick gets loose. And Lawn dives for the inside. Edwards is not going to risk getting crashed again. Oh, Eric Amarillo spins around. He gets it going immediately. You may not see it, but he did. And look at this. Three white coming to the white flag. And look at this. Kevin Harvick's going to take the lead and try to hold on to it. Lawn goes around. He gets tied by Edwards. Kevin Harvick is going to win at Seattle. What a finish. Very exciting. So, Kevin Harvick gets his first victory in the NASCAR Kumon Cup Series. Wow, that was exciting. Kevin Harvick gets the victory. Jack Lawn finishes in second. Your new champion, Jimmy Johnson's in fourth. I'm so happy you got that right. Kyle Larson, on his return, finished 20th. Not bad. Another great run from David Gilland. Brian Scott scored points, too. Eric Amarillo back in 27th. There's the rest of the field. Menard obviously sloving his very poor luck. As here's the championship standings. Kenza still leads the points over Denny Hamlin. Chase Ice now got the cutoff, and William Law, that wreck today could have really cost him. Darrell Wallace Jr. in 18th. He's really improving. Ricky Sounds Jr. is on the verge of getting out of knocked out. Kyle Larson, he's already rising in the standings. I don't have anything else to say. These are the rest of the guys that still haven't scored points at all this year. We hope that they 
score points soon. But yeah, um, see ya next week at Texas, and congratulations to Jimmy Johnson for winning the championship. See ya!